Pleasure. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to In the Street with Big Stone and Dewey. I'm here with the legendary Asta Black from Free Eye Radio and the uh, Reggae Walk of Fame. And this is another one, the Bob Marley Foundation. School for, for the Arts. Bob Marley School for the Arts. He has taken time out from his busy schedule just to kind of talk to you and kind of show you what's happening with him. And um, we'll hear more about how he has started this uh, wonderful thing of the Reggae Walk of Fame here in Jamaica, not in California, but right here on the Ip Strip in Montego Bay. That's the Black Welcome once again. That's the Yes. Yeah, man. The Reggae Walk of Fame, as we started before See in part one. See him. So, you know, um, we, we got permission from the Bob Marley Foundation to develop the Bob Marley School for the Arts. And yeah. um, because I want to be able to allow Jamaican students to come to school tuition free, because the skills training starts at age 19, 20, going on up, um, then they know what they want to do. For example, a cameraman, uh, um, radio host. So these days, and I say, um, let us, in order for it to be viable, we have to have a, a tourism spin-off. Okay. So I created this reggae walk of fame concept. Like, I love it. Like the Hollywood, yeah. I and you know, trying to I try to put it in my TV and they said no, Kingston no. But luckily, so where, where where else do they want to put it? I mean, it's well, old cities. Yeah, you can't put it in the country. But well, the, the only time our minister of tourism respect Rastafari is when he's off island, okay. and it trickle down to everybody okay. else. Yes. No Jamaican in Jamaica of that caliber, powers that be, recognize. Rastafari until they're off the island. Because they're forced. They use Rastafari to sell Jamaica to the man. Not even that, they're forced to, to talk about Rastafari. Because people outside of Jamaica it's see. Asking all the questions. Yeah, so. they see the culture of Jamaica being Rastafari. Rastafari. So they're forced to Rastafari. represent Jamaica yeah. as a Rasta yeah. country. Exactly. Whether they like it or not. So they, they're forced to recognize Jamaica as Rastafari country. So finally, so, where, where is it at? Royal Caribbean decided to build a cruise ship pier in Falmouth. Okay. And I was at a property in Trelawney, I planned to build a regular walk of fame, but then, because the all-inclusive concept mm -hmm. promote Jamaica negatively. It does promote Jamaica. That you're safe inside the all-inclusive. That means you're not safe on railway lane. Our water square in Falmouth, or Sam Sharp Square, mm -hmm. or Marcos Gavi Yard. Mm -hmm. So the people are forced to stay within a, a ramp, within the walls of the all exclusive. So Royal Caribbean see that if the Reggae Walk of Fame was placed on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship port in Falmouth, it will be another attraction. Exactly. So when, when there's no cruise ship on port, the attraction of the Reggae Walk will bring people from all the hotels mm -hmm. will come into the safe environment of the cruise ship port. So it is on the cruise ship terminal in fact. Okay, so it has been settled? Now. Settled, everything good to go. So when are you going to start actually putting in the first star? Who's the first star? Well, you know, the legend. The legendary Robert, <laughs> the legend. Mark, of course. Actually, it's not only him, but it's the three legends. Bob, yeah. Bunny, and Peter. Okay. So the yeah. whalers then gone the to the first Yeah, time. man. Okay. And then we have been we have inducted several artists, such as the late Joseph Hill, mm -hmm. Culture. Culture. Right. Yeah. We have um, Sugar Ziggy. Miner. Sugar is not there, but we're planning the Sugar Gregory mm -hmm. and um, Alton Ellis. Mm -hmm. Well, Alton is there already. Um, thinking of um, uh, Ernest Smith. Okay. and others. So it's not just dead uh, uh, icons we're talking about, no. living icons as well. Yeah, man, like exactly. Charlie Chaplin is there. Exactly, exactly. King Yellowman is there. Exactly. Ziggy is there. Exactly. Um, so these star, stars are already up and, 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 and ready for viewing. We can actually no, what go we're doing and see first, these stars. What we're doing now is plaques. Okay. So you see the picture of the artist and a little bio of the artist. But not actually on the side. No, the that, that's going to be the second tier. The, the construction is still going on. Okay. So after construction is complete, then we start with the stars, which is going to be another celebration. So we doing different celebrations. I think you're doing a tremendous job. That's awesome. True. Honestly. And you know, with the, the doing the work, it educate me of how the system 
and my Peter Carly. The The shit still. Rum <laughs> in Jamaica. Exactly. So I've learned a lot going through the processes. And I realized that the barriers are so strong. But what makes you so concerned you could have easily live in the United States and be away from all this? What makes you want to do this for Jamaica? I mean, you could have easily live elsewhere. I know. You have man. access to other luxurious life. But I know. You, but you, you know, want my, to fight luxuri the struggle. my luxurious life is in Maroon Town, St. Yeah. James. There's nowhere on earth Serenity. as peaceful as right there. Right now, I don't feel like flying again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> they feel like fire, sure. and that's another thing. There's nowhere on earth you can sell Jamaica like in Jamaica. Now we have a flock of people flying off, using up their tourism enhancement fund to go to India, to go own to personal thing, personal trips, and join the two, two, three hundred dollar night room. Out of this little fund where Canterbury could be nice. Exactly, South Spring Green. South Spring could be nice. Every community in Jamaica could be nice and people get their money at the end of the year. Exactly. And we're doing this. So I I think it's easier and cheaper mm -hmm. to fly those people you're trying to convince, such as the Minister of Tourism or the Minister of Commerce or the Prime Minister of Ireland. Just like the Prime Minister of Ireland come put him down here, sir. Just like how, like how the Queen people go sit down in a Bob Marley yard mm -hmm. and play upon the harps. This is what they enjoy. Bring them here and let them go back and say, I have a fantastic time, time <laughs> in Jamaica. Then I ask you a question. Does yeah, um, the Walk of Fame move right into Free Eye Radio? It's one and the same. Yes, and it's all you know, music. Free Eye, mm -hmm. another legend. Free Eye Dixon's talking about it. Yeah, man. Free he got eye. assassinated with uh, Peter Tosh yeah, in man. the Wales. In 2000, uh, yes. and and he was mm -hmm. the hottest host on radio in those times, mm -hmm. and being and promoting our cultural music reggae, mm -hmm. and I as I think it was only fitting to induct him. Okay. And culture not his son, his son. Uh, who accepted his award, and and it what happened in Fort Lauderdale last year. He was inducted on the reggae Walk of fame, mm -hmm. and because he's a radio personality mm -hmm. and so it's only fitting for us to name a radio station broadcast live from the reggae walk of fame free eye radio and again the word free eye is so fitting <laughs> yes because yes. we're still not free right right we still we might not be, be shackled physically but mentally we still are why the shackle we feel there the <laughs> <laughs> shackle still think we have a governor general yeah and the little costuses around the place who think them white because they worship the Queen. Yes. And with that in mind, you can't even own land in Jamaica. The land you, you live on is a land holder. Okay. And the not Queen the land own the land. The Queen own it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies yes, and gentlemen, not to cut him later, I just want to remind a few people who are probably tuning in a little later. A few whole heap of people. Millions of people are tuning in, right? <laughs> is that we are speaking to the legendary Ras Astor Black. Yeah, he's a radio personnel, he's a television personnel, he's a, I wouldn't call you a politician, he's a, a, for the, a statesman. A statesman, right. let's just put it like right. that. And um, he's also a, a, an inventor, creator for the, the Walk of Fame, Reggae Walk of Fame and Free Radio. Uh, we've been talking to him at length, this is part two. I want to hear a little bit more about Rasasta, the man himself, because you're so knowledgeable, so I was telling you. <laughs> I see you on TV all the time, so I'm kind of... It's going through the processes of, um, of getting things done. Okay. You have to study it mm -hmm. and get it done. So that's how mm -hmm. come gain the little knowledge exactly. and it's like our street knowledge. Street knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> right so far, right. So, so where do you see where do you see reggae music going now? I mean, uh, I was reading this article and they said like we rank 14 in the world in, in music. Yeah, music. So we have country wrestling before us and all. No, well, we uh, in reggae. In reggae, around 14 place. Does that mean? Um, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, we're here speaking with the legendary Ras Astor Black. So um, his phone keep ringing, and he's a businessman, a statesman. So this call has to be answered. We're going live, as you can see. So back to you again, Ras Astor. 
this one. My, my queen is just worried that I um, want to make sure I'm safe. safe. Yeah. <laughs> She's like that. She's like that. <laughs> what a wonderful time we yeah. had, ladies and gentlemen, talking to the legend. Um, I've always seen, I've seen him on television. You know, watch the way he does things articulately. I think he's a great person, a great human being. I think he represents Jamaica well. And in, if you want to vote, make sure you vote for a brother who's for you. Vote for the, a man who's for the people. A man who has worked for the people and live amongst the people. You know what I mean? He's better able to serve the people. Ras, as to what else what is you want to talk about? Man? It's all well, you know, like it's the Persian politics. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Rastafari don't vote. They think Why do the, the word politics is bad because of our JLP and PNP politicians. They, they have corrupted the word politics. But we have to remember that politics means the making of policies that govern us as a people. So if we want good policies, we have to get in there and make good politi policies and get rid of the bad policy makers right. who are making poli politics their politics and not our politics. Yeah, politics for the people. Yes. So um, we have a website. It's, it's nowjam.org. Nowjam. J Jam means Jamaica Alliance Movement. Okay. And, and now mean now. Okay. And our symbol is the one thing and the one love thing. <laughs> one love thing. A true mark. And we can have two people dividing us and controlling us. That's what do you think, now? Not good. Not, uh, not just touching it a little. What do you think about our music? Our music are being expressed by some of our artists. You know, um, I'm not calling in a particular name, but there's bleaching going on out there in the streets. There's certain artists that is what you call it, they're, they're big enough bleaching like it's, 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 it's a... Well, I tell you Rastafari, mm -hmm. when I, uh, Margarita Bill put up a Rasta image on top of the rum shop and I have it rocking like this with dreadlocks rocking all over the place. <laughs> and I say to him, I bring him on him up as pit for say, let us go out there and burn it down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not Rastafari, that is true. <laughs> we did not have a job because all it takes is a job for fire start. Exactly, exactly. You see, so we don't have to strike a match, you just chant, <laughs> uh, please. Yeah. And the man him say, Rastafari, too, you brown, you know. You can walk on the hip strip. You <laughs> think about him, say, no, is that true? <laughs> so when you, them now want a job, they have to cut off them naughty, mm, shave color. them beard, and lighten them skin color. I was sitting in a, in a man's office who is tourism. A friend called up, sorry, hey, me looking for a brown enough to meet some tourists now, because they have a brown. It's still going on. So, the yellow man say, in thank God for the color I have. I thank the most I too. <laughs> and more time, the oppression, because them say when you're black, you stay back. So a man like Vibes Cartel now, he want to go up front. So he must be brown up. <laughs> you see? What is but it? it is sad, mm -hmm. because when P.J. Patterson come into being, he came in saying it's black man time. And where is the love? Amongst I and I as black people. You know, we need to stop seeing color because you, you must see each other as, as the most Peter, high. Of course. Because if I look at you and say Rastafari, that means that you are a king of the most high, king of kings. How can I hurt you if you're a king and I am a king? Exactly. Uh, I, I, the, we all, the Christians say God is within them. If God is within that person, how can I kill that person? Guys, God, you kill him. Exactly. You know, see, so we need to deal with it now, really. Ladies and gentlemen, like I say, we're here. Right. It's been a wonderful two part series of <laughs> the legendary Ras Asta Black. I know we're going to talk to him a whole lot more in the future. But for right now, we just want to say thank you for watching. And Ras, thanks for being my guest, man. It's a wonderful experience. Aye, I want aye. you to look in the camera real quick for the last one second or two or three or five and say. Yeah, man. Um, link freeiradio.net and you hear live music from the Bob Marley School for the Arts and the Bob Marley School for, you know, I forget, bobartsinstitute.edu but you can just go Bob Marley School search and we're in Falmouth, Jamaica. Come to Jamaica and you feel Irie. <laughs>